welcome and or welcome back to my channel i decided to take you guys along with me to keep me company while i am at the laundromat as if you guys are gonna see this the same day but nevertheless let's just jump right into it here i'm just separating by piles and colors i have one note for the kids and then next i have a dark light and a um white also a pile for my cleaning cloth mop pads and rugs but that machine was not working that day so in the week i would have to go back and do those This method is the easiest and quickest way to keep your clothes separated and organized by piles. So always put a sheet or a towel in between each load. So when you get to the laundromat and you're pulling out loads, you know once you hit that sheet or towel, it's time to go to the next dryer or you're picking up to the next load, if that makes sense. I like to buy stuff in bulk so what I do is I keep smaller containers for me to take to the laundry like now the big bag that oxy came with two big bags so all I'm doing is pouring it into a smaller oxy bin that is just like for all colored clothes to get stains and stuff like that like the kids clothes mainly and then I have a big softener but you'll see that I have a small bottle that I just pour some of it in just to make it easier and it's not so heavy and I don't have to take everything. Also for the Tide powder, you'll see I also do the same thing and that is a very good option if you have to go to the laundromat like I do. Just buy it in bulk and then when you're ready to use it, just interchange out containers. Comment below if you do any of these tricks just to make laundry day easy or if you have other ways that we can know, leave it down below and let's chat about it. First things first, when I get to the laundromat, I try to find however many washers I need together because I like to wash my clothes while they're washing and the next step is over to the change machine to get enough change. Once I get enough change then I head back over to my washers and get everything put in and then I'll be right back with you guys. Once I've loaded the washer, I like to go in and put the detergent in every single one along with the softener, the oxy, and every one before I put the coins in. So here I'm just going to go in and put all the coins in for every machine and I wash them on hot because I need the heat to sanitize the clothes as well. While I have that going, I go and get one of the baskets that the worker has just sprayed and sanitized and then I put a bag over it just to when I start to take the clothes out that they're not touching the basket. Please guys, don't judge me because I had just filmed the whole video or two before this. So what I did was I took out the, the kids clothes first and then I went to another machine and then I put that set of clothes on top of that by spreading a um, towel over it. This is where I said that it's going to apply to the dryer also. Same thing I did. I just put something to separate it so it won't run or anything. 
I was lucky enough that this lady was taking her clothes out the dryer at the same time I was looking for a dryer so she was kind of like waiting for me with each load to, so I can get her dryers because they were all together so that's why I wanted them but here quick tip if you want your clothes to dry evenly when you take them out when you're putting them into the washer shake it out and make sure nothing is stuck together or anything is tied up together and that way they will dry evenly and quicker and make sure you don't have to add more money to keep drying if you are new here and you've made it this far in a video and like content like this I hope you consider subscribing and comment below so we could get to know each other and if you're returning comment below any tips and tricks you have for laundry day this is by far the worst part of laundry day for me here I'm hanging up Caden my oldest uniform tops and also my boyfriend's uniform and a few of my work shirts that I'm going to have to steam later anyways but I don't want them to be too wrinkled and then I just fold everything else up as normal. Um, if there's something you like specifically for me to show you how to fold, just comment that below and I will have no problem making any kind of video showing you guys uh, folding or different ways I fold. While I wait for the other clothes to dry, I just try to plan out videos for next week or I would edit if I had my laptop. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling on and let you guys enjoy the folding motivation that I'm giving here. But don't leave yet. I still have the steaming and I have a new gadget I would like to share with you guys. When packing up the clothes to go home, I put towels, sheets, blankets, anything like that in the pot in one laundry bag, which house also my boyfriend clothes will be in those as well. And then the bag that I put the kids clothes in, I will put my folded clothes in also, which is the white bag you see here. And then the socks I deal with when I get home. I was separating out some clothes because the kids needed to be showered when I get home so that instead of me digging for anything, I'm just going to put them aside so I could just quickly find them. Here I am looking for my keys that were in my pocket. Now that I'm back home, I am going to unbox this steamer that I got. I will definitely leave the link below so if you would like it and please if you decide to get it, please purchase it through the link that I have below because I do get a small commission when you purchase stuff through my link. So here I'm just showing you the setup of it. That was the max amount um, of water so you're able to see how much water it has and it was pretty easy i didn't even read the instructions. it was very easy to put together you just put the top put the water and put the top back on and that's it you plug it in let it warm up for a little bit and you're ready to go after about a minute it was ready to go as you can see all that steam was coming out and you just i'm just going to demonstrate how to use it this is not my first steamer but my other one after two days it broke so amazon gave me back a credit and i got this one which i'm happy i did 
but there's some cons to it that I'm going to show you later. The left side of the shirt was not steam and the right was steam. In the picture it doesn't seem like a big difference but it was a big difference in person and I wish I was able to like really show the true work that it did but trust me when I say yes it did work good and I am liking it. For comparison I'm showing you one of the shirts that has not been steamed and then that one that is steamed so you can see for yourself it did work and it had a lot of packed a lot of punch if I can say. The one thing that might be a con for others is that it was only able to steam one and a half shirt. But then again, you have to understand, I was demonstrating, I got up, sat back down, so it might could have done both. But for me, it's not a con. I am okay with that, as I only do one and two shirts. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't leave without coming in the comment section. I enjoy talking to everyone that leaves a comment 